Recently, in sharing the gospel and God's word, I encountered a very absurd and angering situation. I met someone who claims to be a Christian but resists God's words in the Bible that oppose homosexuality. Are these people really Christians? In today's world, the most absurd and saddening thing is that some people call themselves Christians and declare, God is love, yet they cannot accept His laws and commandments. They profess belief in God, but they stray from His path and even openly support behaviors that go against His teachings. I cannot understand these self-proclaimed Christians who support LGBTQ. They seem not to understand that Scripture teaches that the unrighteous cannot inherit the kingdom of God. They oppose God's words but still bear the name Christian, which is utterly absurd. If we truly believe in God, then we know He is a righteous God who will judge all rebellious and ungodly behavior. The Bible explicitly condemns homosexuality, immorality, theft, and other forms of wickedness. Do those who claim to be Christians but do not fear God's judgment really understand that judgment will begin with the house of God? To claim belief in God yet not follow His laws, even supporting those who go against His word, if they call themselves Christians, may God's discipline come upon them double, that they may come to know God's righteousness and majesty deeply. My God is a God of righteousness who hates sin, but He is also a loving God. So, the God they believe in, is He a righteous God, or, like them, full of hypocrisy and unrighteousness? If their God is as unrighteous as they are, then He is not the same God I believe in. The Bible records that in the time of the flood, God was grieved by the wickedness and violence of humanity, so He decided to bring a flood to destroy all the ungodly, sparing only Noah, who found grace because of his righteousness. Similarly, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, cities consumed by homosexual acts and other wickedness, with fire and sulfur. For those who persist in the path of immorality and corruption, God's judgment will surely come. Genesis 6 chapter 5-8 The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 7 chapter 17 to 23, For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth. Every living thing that moved on land perished. Only Noah and those with him in the ark were left. Genesis 19 chapter 24 to 26, then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah. He overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities. 1 Corinthians 6 chapter 9 to 10, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is near, repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus. May the kingdom of God and the gospel soon cover the earth, and may all ungodly people repent and turn to God. In Jesus' name, Amen.